Hi, I'm Tim. Hi, I'm Edna. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Hi everyone. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you are looking for insight and tools to rise as a parent you are in the right place. As some of you may already know, Tim and I have worked together professionally with children and their families for over 20 years, and we love sharing our journey and experience with viewers like you. We also started this YouTube channel to help raise funds for our outreach. Be sure to watch to the end of this video to learn more about the essential work we do. So, without further ado, let's get started. Playground Safety Tips Any situation, no matter how pleasant, can be dangerous. Every year thousands of children hoping for some fun on the playground end up in the emergency room. But you can keep the playground safe by looking for obvious signs of danger. Here are 7 things you should be doing while your child is on the playground. 1. Supervise, supervise, supervise. It is your responsibility to watch for playground dangers that can come up in a split second. So be sure to have your eyes on your child at all times. Be sure to move around the playground with your child and look for signs of trouble. 2. Inspect the playground. Search the grounds for signs off trash, broken glass, nails, sharp objects or rocks. Also, look for broken equipment, loose nuts or bolts or missing parts. Wooden parts should have no splinters, large cracks or deterioration. 3. Check the playground layout and surfaces. Be sure to look for fences to block children from running into an area where they could be hit by a moving vehicle. Test for hot surfaces. Metal sitting in the hot sun can cause serious burns. Spaces between railings and ladder steps should be too big or too small to trap a small head. Falls are a big cause of injury on the playground. So, equipment should have lots of loose fill material under it and the equipment should never have cement, dirt, grass or rocks under it. 4. Be sure your child is wearing proper clothing and personal gear. Helmets are a must on a bicycle and other sports, but on playgrounds they can get caught between poles and railings. Dangling strings and jewelry are a real danger because they can get caught in equipment and cause a choking hazard. And since slipping can be a big problem, flip-flops are a bad idea for the playground. Also, to avoid any serious foot injury avoid having your child in any open-toe footwear while on the playground. If your child is playing out in the sun, be sure to protect their skin by applying sunblock. I will list 4 great sunblock choices from Amazon with the links to them in this video description below. 5. Be sure your child is playing on age-appropriate equipment. Of course, not all playground equipment is created equal. Some equipment is for older children and some for younger children. Do not allow your child to play on any playground equipment that is not age-appropriate for them. 6. Be aware of playground behavior. Good playgrounds stretch the imagination. They are a place for your child to have great adventures and share them with their peers. But getting along and playing well with others can be difficult for some children. Pushing, hitting and throwing ground covering can become a playground issue. It is always best to distance your child from that kind of behavior. 7. Beware of any stranger danger. I cannot emphasize this one enough. Always be aware of the people around your child. Look out for adults at the playground that do not have children with them. Pay special attention to those adults and always keep your child a good distance away from them. You're responsible for your child's safety as well as your own. You have the power to prevent your child from being in danger. You can make every place a safer place for you and your child by recognizing dangers and avoiding them. This concludes Playground Safety Tips. Be safe out there. We hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe for more insightful parenting videos. And remember, to be the parents we want to be for our children, we as parents must love, learn, and rise. Tim and I started this YouTube channel for two reasons. 
first and foremost, to support parents by sharing our vast knowledge of caring for children. And second, to help fund our charity, selflessoutreach.org. We are an independent outreach and we do not receive any state or federal funding. We rely on our own personal income and fundraising efforts. So, what does Selfless Outreach do? We deliver free food and free basic living supplies to the underserved. We serve the people that can't get to the food banks or other sources of support that they so desperately need. We serve seniors with limited mobility, individuals with disabilities, veterans, transitional housing and the homeless. Every month we serve hundreds of homes and individuals. So, in order to help fund selfless outreach we became an official Amazon affiliate. Which means we can earn commission on all your Amazon orders without any additional cost to you. All the Amazon links in this video description will bring you straight to the official Amazon website and will never increase the price of the product you choose. Just click on the Amazon product you choose from this video description and add it to your Amazon shopping cart just before you proceed to checkout. So, turn your next Amazon order into a charitable contribution at no additional cost to you. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.